In this video, I'll explain how to calculate time weighted average pricing. Let's say that the price of beef in US dollars is 100 from 0 to 4 seconds. And at 4 seconds, we observe that the price of beef is $200. At 5 seconds, we observe that the price of beef has gone down to $100 again. How do we calculate the time weighted average of beef price from 0 to 6 seconds? The time weighted average price, TWAP, is equal to the price of beef was 100 from 0 to 4 seconds, so it will be 100 times 4 seconds over the duration of 6 seconds, so that will be 4 over 6 seconds. At 4 seconds, the price of beef is 200, and this lasts for 1 second, so it will be plus 200 times 1 second over the total duration of 6 seconds. And finally, it is $100 for the last one second. So that will be plus 100 times 1 over 6. Now the common denominator of this expression is 6. So we can rewrite this equation as equals to 100 times 4 plus 200 times 1 plus 100 times 1 over the whole duration of 6 seconds. Let's do the math. This is equal to 100 times 4, 400, plus 200, so that'll be 600, plus another 100, that'll be 700. 700 over 6. And using my calculator, this turns out to be 116.666, and so on. Let's come up with a general equation for what we just computed here. Let's say that the price of beef is P0 from times T0 to T1. And at T1, the price is equal to P1. At T2, the price is equal to P2, and so on, all the way up to T to the N. At T to the N, the price is equal to P to the N. Let's do the same calculation for what we just did over here, except we will be using variables. We will compute the TWAP from times T0 to T to the N. What is the average price? Well, this is equal to P0 times the duration that the price was at P0. This will be from T minus 1 to T0. So here I'll type T1 minus T0 plus the duration that the price was at P1. Well, for P1, that will be from T1 to T2. So the duration will be T2 minus T1. And we continue this process until Tn. The price for the duration from t n minus 1 to t to the n is p to the n minus 1. So here we will write the price p to the n minus 1 multiplied by the duration that will be t to the n minus t to the n minus 1. Like what we did over here, we will have to divide this whole expression by the duration. The duration is t to the n minus t to the 0. So this whole expression over t to the n minus t to the 0. So this is the general formula for computing the time weighted average price from time t0 to tn. So this whole expression is equal to the summation from i equals 0. The last price that we observe from t0 to tn is p to the n minus 1. So we'll do a summation all the way up to n minus 1. And inside the summation, we'll do p to the i times t to the i plus 1 minus t to the i. And in the same way that we divided this whole expression by the whole duration, we'll do the same for over here. So this whole expression divided by the duration, which will be t to the n minus t to the 0. And this is the equation to calculate the TWAP from the duration t0 to tn. Now let's do another example. What if we wanted to compute the time weighted average not from t0 but from tk to tn? How do we compute the time weighted average from t to the k to t to the n. Well, we can do the exact same thing as what we did over here, and instead of starting from p0, we just replace these variables with pk. So I'll copy this whole expression and then put it here. And then instead of starting from p0, we'll start from p to the k. So we'll start the time interval from t to the k, and the next time interval will be t to the k plus 1. The next price will be p to the k plus 1. The time interval will be from t to the k plus 1 to t to the k plus 2, and so on, all the way up until p 
p to the n minus 1. And lastly, the duration will be from t to the k to t to the n. So instead of t to the 0, we'll start from t to the k. Like what we did over here, we can also write this as a more concise expression. So I'll copy this, paste it here, and instead of starting from i equals 0, we'll start from i equals k, and the duration will be from t to the k. Now there's another way to write this expression, except that i will always be equal to 0. So we can write this top equation to be equal to, We'll copy the top part of this equation and paste it here. This expression starts from i equals 0, so from t0 all the way up to t to the n. And to get this to this summation, we added too much from t0 to tk, so we'll have to subtract this part. And to do that, we'll copy this, paste it here, and then over here say minus this expression starting from i equals 0 we need to minus all the way up to t to the k. So inside here, the summation will go up all the way up to k minus 1. And then the bottom stays the same. So I'll copy this and then paste it here. And now we have two ways to write this same equation. t up from t to the k to t to the n. We can write it like this, where we started from i equals k, or we can always start from i equals 0, go all the way up to n minus 1, and then subtract from i equals 0 all the way up to k minus 1. Why am I showing you this equation? The reason why I'm showing you this equation is because in Uniswap b2, this is how the TWAP is calculated. In Uniswap b2, it keeps track of the price and the duration that the price lasted. Inside the contract, they call it the price cumulative. Notice that this price cumulative is exactly the same as the top part of this equation that we derived. And this equation is also the same as the ones we see over here and over here. So in Uniswap B2, to get the TWAP from times t to the k to t to the n, you'll need to get the price cumulative at t to the n minus the price cumulative at t to the k, and then divide it over the duration. This expression is exactly equal to this expression that you see over here. These two are equal.